Okay, so guys, here I am, a 2017 Basel Fair. I'm so happy to be here with none, no, no one less than the amazing Jean-Claude Beaver, probably the greatest innovator in Swiss watchmaking, a guy who has innovated on so many different eras. First, in the rebirth of the Swiss watchmaking industry with Blontin. Second, in the second phase of the industry with Omega. Third, with the rebirth of Hublot as the king of fusion to connect all of the contemporary world, all of contemporary culture into the now, probably one of the most successful watch brands ever, and also what he did with Tag Heuer recently when he came out with the Caliber 02T, a tourbillon that was, I think, 14,000 US dollars around there, but cost certified tourbillon chronograph, and he's now become the king of tourbillon chronographs. You made 1,000 pieces, is that correct? We, made, uh, the, we have finished the 1,000 watch came out 26th of February. Fantastic, and if I'm not mistaken, am I correct that you, uh, it was auctioned on eBay? So we said, what do we do? Yes. Thousand. Yes. I mean, this is a huge number. And when you think that we presented it last year in Basel, yes. in less than one year, yes. we produced thousands. Incredible. And it was the thousand were the, the first time, yes. because never you had a chronograph, tourbillon, automatic chronometer oh. yes. certificate. Yes. And so we said, that is such an achievement. Let's do something. And yes. so we took make a wish. Yes. We said, we give it 100% of the money we raise for yes. the Tourbillon Wonderful. to make a wish. That's fantastic. And we put it on eBay for six days. Yes. And on the 24th yes. was the end of the auction. Yes. And it uh, raised 27000 Which is double the retail price, right? Uh, it's exactly double. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's a little bit more than double. That's fantastic. You know, and this is just for the number 1,000 piece. It's, it's not even number one, for example. No. It's yeah. a, and, and, and you cannot see on the piece. That's yes. Number <laughs> you Incredible. Can, you have the certificate yes. and the number. Then yes. you can check. Fantastic. So anyway, here you go, Thank Mr. You Beaver. This is fo the follow-up, incidentally, to uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award, which we gave to Mr. Beaver uh, during uh, January in SIHH. And uh, it's time for me to retire. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, because okay, then when we can you get uh, yeah. awards. Yeah. Normally, it's at the end of your life. No, 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 and you can't. But also, because we are just starting a new adventure, which is Zenith. So tell us about Zenith, because I think you, uh, during this wonderful uh, dinner that you had for the retailers, you announced that you're thinking about retiring in seven years. Correct. Th thinking. Thinking about retiring in seven years. So you have seven years, which honestly I think you'll do it much faster, to make Zenith a success on the level of Tag Heuer or of Hublot <laughs> or of any of your other brands. So first of all, how are we going to do this? Uh, I think we're going to do it, and this is kind of a contradiction, we're going to do it with Zenith. <laughs> sure. Okay, great. <laughs> it means instead of taking people from outside Zenith, events, uh, brands, uh, ambassadors, yes. we will take the values of Zenith yes. and we will promote the, the value. Fantastic. So it's the reverse what we are doing, for instance, for Hublot Tag Heuer, or Tag Heuer, yes. Where we, you, where we work with ambassadors, yes. influence. And you people, expand the universes. Exactly. And here, we said, instead of doing 20% of the turnover uh, marketing, yes. let's do 10% marketing yes. and 10 additional percent in R&D. Okay, and I've seen already the first instance and the first expression of this. So, as you guys all know, in 1969, Zenith created the El Primero, the first integrated automatic chronograph. Also, it was a movement that beat at 5 hertz, and the escapement wheel had to be lubricated with a special paste because normal oils were not good enough. So this year, Mr. Beaver has come out with the El Primero 21, which is an incredible one one hundredth of a second chronograph, and also not at a ridiculous price, not at a crazy price, but at an extremely acceptable industrial price. Would you yes. agree? Yes. Tell us a little bit about this watch and what it represents the Zenith. So, uh, uh, number one, it's the first time that Zenith uh, gets out of the Zenith prison. Yes. Zenith has been the prisoner of El Primero 69. Yes. 1969. Yes. They never dared changing it or doing something else. Yes. They always said, legends are forever. Yes, but if the legendary Porsche in which that, uh, what was the name of the actor who died? James Dean. James Dean. Yes. This Porsche has been changed, although basically it's Absolutely. the same. So you have to do facelifts regularly. Yes. If not, your tradition will disconnect from of course. the future. Of course. And when the tradition disconnects from the future, then you are, you are in a museum. Absolutely. In the museum, you can visit what has been. But Zenith 
must not have been, then it must be. Yes. And this is what I did. And uh, how did we do it? So we said the El Primero 20th century must be re we must think it again with the eyes, yes. with the technique, with the tools, with the technology, and with the people of the 21st century. Yes. So we cannot be happy with uh, uh, five hertz. Yes. We must have 500 hertz. Yes. We must we must have a watch that goes on the one and tenth of a second, but as soon as you do the chronometer, yes. the chronograph, Graph. it must be one, one, one hundredth of a second. Incredible. And then we said the, uh, we will have two uh, uh, Oscillator. spring, two oscillators, and we said the, we have to introduce in the oscillator a new material for the hairspring. This is incredible. And this is this incredible. new material is the nanotube carbon. Incredible. Which is 100% anti-magnetic. Incredible. Which is 100% anti-thermic. Yes. So in that... And you are even bringing the machines to build these hair springs in-house at yes, Zenith as well. Exactly. The carbon fiber nanotubes, which are uh, deep reactive ion etched. To, into hair springs. This is the yes. first use of this ever, yes. and it's a demonstration of what Mr. Bieber wants to do with Zenith for the future to make it the, the masters of new technology yes. and bring that technology into the watches. Exactly. Right? And, and this has, is already working now because we're at, it's the second day of the fair. We presented it uh, on, on Wednesday, and the success is already there. People yes. are excited and people are buying. Yes. People are buying it. Yes. So we feel Zenith will uh, have a rebirth. But from itself, fantastic. Not to others. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Fantastic. Ah, see. No, it's incredible. We videoed incredible. this earlier. It's, it's, a, it's a great. It's a great watch. And it's a great shape. Ah, it is stunning as well. And I love that you brought back the Defy as well, or Defi as they say. The, the, the name, yes. Yes, which I love as well. Which incidentally is, is, is a historic watch from the collection. It had some of the most iconic watches from Zenith were Defy watches from the 60s, for example. Exactly. It's absolutely marvelous. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about something else. When I interviewed you in my house last time, we had a conversation about smartwatches. And I, I love the fact that it was connected to eternity because it meant that you, you know, because a lot of people were, why should I buy a luxury smartwatch? Well, Mr. Beaver's idea is like, well, we'll make it modular. So as soon as the electronics become uh, defunct, you can remove it and put a modular movement inside of it, and then you can have a mechanical watch. But this year, you took it one step further. You decided to say, you know what, let's bring the modularity into the watch now so people can have the benefit of the electronics, but then they can have a time-only watch if they want, and then they can even have a tourbillon if they want as well. Tell me about this, because it's absolutely marvelous. Yeah, it's, it's you know, um, I have always been um, a little bit worried with the connected watch. Why? Because we, I have been saying during 42 years, we are the artisans, or we are the artists of the eternity. Yes. We are the creators of eternity on the wrist. Yes. Boom. And then with the connected watch, I said to myself, God damn, it's not true. <laughs> the connected watch will become obsolete. Yes. So thanks God, nobody said to me, hey Beaver, during 42 years you were preaching eternity. Yes. How can you see something that's obsolete? <laughs> thanks God, nobody said anything. <laughs> but I went on thinking, right, right. one day somebody will come and tell me, yes. hey, yeah. what and, have you been and saying? And you need to have a response for this. I yes, exactly. response. Yeah. Yes. So I was searching, searching, and finally, uh, uh, Hublot has the interchangeable bracelet. Yes. And the interchangeable bracelet, I said to Guy Semon, our, our boss of R&D. Yes. I said, you know, Guy, if Hublot has the interchangeable bracelet, yes. if we would have a module here and we could uh, change yes. the bracelet. Yes, you know, take the lugs off. Take yeah. the lugs off. Yes. And Guy said, okay, let's start. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's and fantastic. He found it. And amazing. He, yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, it's and, and I it's love so it's so to intuitive do. to use. You know, you don't need a PhD. No, you, know? you don't need a PhD. Exactly. You, must, uh, you know, it's fantastic. You see, and now Nick Fulks is calling me. Ah, let's answer him. Let's see what I. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. So, you see, it's Nick, fantastic. how are you? <laughs> I love it. So um, when we buy, when now when you buy the connected one. Yes. You buy the future. Yes. But you can also buy the tradition. Of course. And then that means you will buy the module, modular that is mechanical. Yes. Chronograph, yes. three hands, yes. tubio. Yes. And you can then interchange by yourself. Tonight I go to the, to the opera. Yes. I don't want the connected watch to disturb me. Uh. I don't want to. Uh, and 
I put the tubio. Fantastic. That's absolutely wonderful. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Well, phenomenal. I also, I like the rationale for you to create this connected watch because I know it was very important for you to connect to the next generation and to have that interactivity with people who may not even be interested in a watch yet, but maybe purchasing this as their first sort of luxury item because of the, the, the interactivity with, with the, the, you know, the smart function. Yeah. But tell me about also one thing that you did which I thought was really interesting, which was to create a dialogue with actual collectors related to the Otavia. Because I love the fact that you said, okay, um, we're going to release it, but why don't you choose? Why don't you, the collecting public, choose what you want to see in your ultimate version of the Otavia? And that was the idea. The idea was if we do a re-edition, right. we should, as we are not the specialists of the classic watches, yes. collectors and normal consumer who buy modern watches, sometimes they don't have the same opinion, they yes. don't have the same eyes, and yes. they don't buy the same product. Yes. So we said, why, when, if we do a re-edition, let's make sure it's the right one. Yes. Because there have been t uh, 20 or 30 different dials in Otavia in the, in the 10 years where mm -hmm. Otavia uh, was sold between 60 and 70. Yes. And should we look which dial with our eyes of yes. today, or should we ask collector? Yes. And we said, that's a collector's watch, so we're going to ask collectors. How do we ask collectors? We went on internet and we said, everybody can give us the input. Wonderful. We got 50,000 input. Wonderful. 50,000 people told us which dial to use. Yes. Which hands to use. Yes. Which bezel to yes. use. Yes. Which indexes to use. That's incredible. And we decide, and then we, 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 uh, we, we just made uh, like a votation, which is the watch that has the most votes? And there was one, and then there was a second one. Incredible. That had a little bit less, maybe 100 uh, votes less. Yes. And we started again a second round <laughs> with those two. That's to be sure. Just to be sure. You know, yes. because 100. Yes. Uh, yes. And the one that has been chosen was the one that has the victory. That is incredible. That's the watch that had the most. It, um, it's so extraordinary for a luxury brand that is, you know, such an iconic brand to also be so receptive to ideas from its actual customers. You know, I just love this. The, you know, we have two things to take care. Of. Yes. We have a king. The king is my customer. Yes. And then we have a queen. The queen is my product. Yes. Now, I must make sure that the king meets my queen. Yes. And then I make, must make sure that the queen looks sufficiently desirable to attract the king. the king. Yes. And then I must make sure that the king loves the queen. Yes. And then I make, make sure that they make love. And then I must make sure that they get kids. And then I have built a family. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And that's my job. Fantastic. So, I must take care of the king, <laughs> yes. my customer, yes. and the queen, my product. Absolutely. And make them fall in love. Exactly. And, and now, they can only do that if they speak the same language, they're in the same places, yes. that they understand, yes. they have the same values, they have the same yeah, uh, exactly. cultural aesthetics, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Now, now, let's talk also about, you know, because uh, about the, the, the brand that has become one of the most significant, probably the most exciting and dynamic brand in watchmaking today, which is Hublot. Hublot, yes. Now, Hublot, I love the fact that it can go into any universe. And I love the fact that today I was holding on to the tech frame, which was made, actually designed by the Ferrari chief designer, Flavio Manzoni, who's a friend of mine, yes. and a brilliant man and the guy who designed the LaFerrari incidentally and then at the same time you have a watch that has is using Berluti's uh, traditional scripto um, on the dial and on, on, on the bracelet as well because you have the most important car brand in the world collaborating with Hublot and you've got the most iconic shoe brand co collaborating with Hublot and I love the fact that this brand can go into any place it can it can merge seamlessly with anything interesting in culture and it means nothing else that we are following our customer yes because each customer who drives a Ferrari has also more or less a pair of, of uh, Berluti. Berluti. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. It belongs to the same lifestyle. You're absolutely right. And when it belongs to the same lifestyle, it belongs to Hublot because we follow our customer. Yes. And if our a customer uh, spends $25,000 for a bike, yes. we must then be in cycling. Yes. Which means we are just following the customer. Yes. Wherever our king goes, we must bring the queen yes. so that he can meet the queen. Yes. And the more he meet the queen, the more he will start to understand the queen. 
the more he might find that the queen has a lot of substance, that the queen has a lot of heart, that the queen could be the perfect mother. Yes. And one day you're gonna marry. Of course. And of then course. we have done it. Fantastic. And that is the strategy. And this is what I explain to kids when I go to a little school. Yes. Uh, the, 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 and the older children tell me, oh, you have a nice job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because it's about creating love. Yes. yes. Now, one of the things, and I love the fact that you're giving messages and teaching some uh, lessons to, to the next generation, but one, you know, I was at dinner at your house, I think, very recently, two weeks ago, and you, you taught me something really remarkable and something about how you had a conversation with the president of Switzerland at the time, yeah, uh, Mr. De La Mures. Yes, de la Mures. And, and, and he made an appointment with you at a time that you thought was totally bizarre, but in the end gave you one of the key ingredients to making you such a success. Could you just share that story with us? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, uh, so I was asking for um, subsidies, you know, yes. because we had uh, nine watchmakers, and in those days, if you had uh, more than five watchmakers, you could get a subvention, because you were helping the watchmakers to find again a job. Yes. So he gave me an appointment at five. Yes. And five for me means uh, five o'clock in, in the afternoon. Five p.m. Yes. Five p.m. Especially in meeting with uh, the, president. the president of the country. <laughs> um, and then my secretary said, no, 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 Mr. Beaver, the day before, don't forget tomorrow morning, five. I said, what, tomorrow morning? She said, yes. I said, are you sure? She said, yes, I called, and they said, it's five o'clock. I went there at five o'clock. Uh, five a.m. Five a.m., <laughs> I yes. followed the instructions, you know, to enter the building, and I arrived <laughs> in his office, and when, uh, before I could sit, he said to me, do you know why you're here at five? I said, uh, yes, uh, Mr. President, I know I'm coming for the subvention. He said, if you would come for the subvention, that, then it would not be necessary to come at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yes. And I said, yeah, but you asked me to be here at 5. Okay, I'm going to explain you why. Imagine you work only 300 days per year. That's all you work. You, the rest of the days you do nothing. Okay. You take off. So 300 days. Imagine you work two hours more than your competition. During those 300 days, that's 600 hours. Imagine your competition works 40 hours a week. So 600 hours divided by 40 per week, that's 15 weeks. And 15 weeks with a small, uh, short February, that's four months. So two hours more during only 300 days, not the whole day, a uh, year, will give you four months ahead of competition. That's why you are here at 5 o'clock, because from now on, you will never be in your manufacturer after 5. Bye-bye, <laughs> subvention. <I can't laughs> Incredible. Seven minutes after 5, I was back in my car. In those days, I had a little uh, Volkswagen GTI, yes. white. And I was in the car, I said, what do I do now? It's 5 o'clock? Uh, no, it's seven minutes past 5. I don't go home, my, my wife will shout because, ah, you wake me up two times, you woke me up two times, <laughs> and now you wake me up again, <laughs> what is happening with you? I cannot go to the, to the restaurant, they are all closed, except in the railway station, but the people have drunk too much, I don't want to mix with these drunken people. <laughs> I go to the factory, <laughs> and it was the first time in my life that I went to my own factory at 5 o'clock. Incredible. And since then, I have never stopped going at five to the job. And would you say this has given you one of the critical advantages over your competition? Huge, because I have understood on that day that you beat the competition by working more. Everyone in revolution, <laughs> anywhere in the world, we're changing the starting hours to 5 a.m. You need yeah. work, 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 and then you need creativity. Yes. Creativity at the end is 10 or 15 percent. Yes. The rest is work, hard yes. work. Mr. Beaver, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. Congratulations on another wonderful Basel Fair. Congratulations on and this. Thank you for that. Yes, Congratulations wonderful. also on your Lifetime Achievement Award, although to be fair, I should have given you three Lifetime Achievement Awards, and I hope to be giving you a fourth uh, soon with, uh, with Zenith, you know, but you're thank off to you. a great start already. Thank you so great much. Great to see you, Mr. Beaver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.